Okay, here we are. We got the uh, stove that's got the creosote built up on the uh, screen. I have scraped it with a piece of wood and we're going to try to use this ash to clean it. So, we got the ash in the bucket here and here we go. We take an old rag. I'm using a sock. Got a little water dabbed on it. I'm just gonna put just a little bit of ash on here to see how this will work. We're just going in a circle of motion. So here's the difference, just a uh, little ash and water made. It's quite noticeable. And I've only got just a few seconds of work on this, but you can see how much clearer this is than what it was before. Okay, what I basically did, I used the uh, blade here to scrape the creosote off the door and then I used the wood ash and water and an old rag which in this case was just a uh, sock when you're using the razor blade or the scraper you need to make sure that you have it wet so it does not scratch the glass since it is hard material and I just scrubbed in circular motion to clean up the door so I can enjoy a fire now and I can see what I'm looking at. Now, it's time to build the fire. I still got the ashes in the bottom of the stove because you're supposed to always have a little bit of ash there when you're doing the fire. As you can see, I can actually see through the door very good right now. And that was just by using a little bit of ash, an old cloth, and some water and scraping off this stuff before I started. 